Okay guys, now we've got a 2011 F-150 in here and the customer called me wanting a trailer brake controller put in it and asked me what I thought was the best one. And I said, well on that one, you might as well put a factory one in it because see it goes right here where this pocket's at. And I think it's less than 60 bucks and it, you get the you get the brake controller. Um, it comes with the relay and the fuse that you put in the underhood fuse box and it comes with a little paper telling you what location they go in. So we're going to get this put in here real quick. So to start with, we're going to take out two 7 millimeter bolts up here at the top of the instrument bezel. This has to go to the dealer to get programmed, to let it know that it's on there. It's got to be done with dealer diagnostic equipment. And we probably need to turn this on to get this out of the way. Okay, now I believe this just pops off like so. This, I guess, is the switches. This is where the four wheel drive thing is at on mine. I didn't realize it would be wired for that. Set that aside. And the plug for the trailer brake controller should be back here. We've got two seven millimeter bolts holding this pocket in. So he's gonna lose his storage pocket. Well, I would have thought it would have been plugged in the back of this. I don't see it, so has somebody else already been using it? For a different one. pause it and get under here and see if it's hanging down there somewhere okay I want to try to show you guys where it's at it's taped up right here it's taped up right here so we're gonna get this tape off and we're gonna feed it up through there and plug it into the back of the trailer brake controller okay now I'm pretty sure the last one of these I did that was stuck in the back of this pocket just like so and i unplugged it from it but for some reason i guess that day at the factory they decided they were gonna tape it up down below so all we're gonna do is plug the brake controller in
you know what? I think there's something else we got to unplug off of it. Yeah, we had to take that off of it. Now, let's see if we get it plugged in. Well, they didn't give us much slack. Now we got to hold on to this piece to put back up. plugged in. I need to get that other one back up here. There. Now, it's got little lo locator pins right there. And we're going to use the same screws that we took out for the storage pocket. To fasten it back in. But that was taped up right below this knee bolster. Just taped up to another wiring harness down there. Just untaped it and Fished it up through here, plugged it into the back. So now, snap this piece back on, plug this back into the back of here. However it was. this piece back on now we got a trailer brake controller this piece go back in Well, it's not wanting to snap back in. One side is. There we go. He uses this truck to mow. That's why it's so filthy. And put these two back in. That's all there was to that. Now, I already talked to the Ford dealer. They said if I can get it down there around 3.30, they'll be able to program it and turn it on. And it's 2.13, so we should be just fine. So, I'll be back. Okay. It does tell us right here in this diagram. I forgot before we head down there. We need to put this circuit breaker and fuse in here or relay relay and 
few. So location nine for the relay and location 21 for the fuse, which is right here. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna open this thing up. And I believe this thing is a little bit backwards. Yeah, they're showing us the front of the truck, the arrow point in this way. So this relay it's going to be all the way in this back corner, which is this one. So there's that one. And we got to look at this one backwards. looking at it this way it's this first row here we got a big area two little ones a fuse and then 21 right here 21 so it's gonna go right here okay Let's get to the Ford dealer and see if we get this thing programmed. Okay, we're down here in Southern Illinois. We're going over Interstate 57. We're on Highway 185. And right over the interstate here is Engel Brothers Ford. I've been here as far as I can remember, and I'll be 55 next month. This little dealership's got to be doing something right for them to be here as long as they have been. You know, sometimes big dealerships don't even make it. And here, this is just a little bitty one. I've got a buddy that ordered a brand new, I think it's a 2018 Shelby GT350 through these guys. And he got the best deal out of any of the, any of the, even the bigger Ford dealerships that he talked to. So this place treats customers right. A, just a really extremely small dealership here. I don't know what this guy is doing. So, I'm just going to pull up right here. I'm going to run in, let them know that I'm here. It is 257. So I'll check in with you guys and let you know how long it took when I get back. I'm going to show you. See, we're going to slide this controller. Nothing's happening in the instrument cluster. So we're going to get this thing programmed and let it know, let the truck know that it's on here. 2.57 p.m. Okay, we're back in the truck. It is 3.34, so just a little bit over a half hour. Time I walked in there, the time I'm out. It's hooked up and working. It charged me a half hour, 56.90. Now, you slide this over, it says trailer disconnected. So we think it's got a bad connection because if you go roll and you, you take off rolling and you slide this, the trailer does stop it. So we're thinking that it's a bad connection saying trailer disconnected. So we can change the gain here. See, it's coming up, you go all the way up to 10 go back down so it is working but I, there's something going on back here at the connector but that's all there is to putting the factory trailer brake controller in your probably 2010 through 14 f-150 so yeah, i think it was less than 60 bucks i got that off ebay and then 56.90 so you know that's not bad to do a factory job like that, get it all programmed. So that's how you do it. 
thanks for watching i will see what's going on with the connection back there but at least the trailer brakes on the trailer are working so if this video helps you please hit the thumbs up if you like it um, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching see you next time